And so we're making ice cream today in the ag room. Um, we do this for a couple reasons. One, obviously ice cream is made from a lot of ag products. In the seventh grade um, curriculum, we go through a unit on dairy products, so the kids have understood kind of from step to step how we get this. So as we're making ice cream today, we go through kind of the process, and you can hear they're very excited in the background here. Um, so with the ice cream, basically all it is is freezing heavy milk or cream or some sort of a dairy product, adding sweetener and flavor to it. That's basically the process. Doesn't matter if it's really high-end ice cream or our ice cream in a bag, it's the same thing either way. Um, so the freezing process, how we actually get our stuff to freeze, is we use salt to lower the melting temperature of the ice, so using science. So this is where the kids can actually see how their science applies in things. Um, so we use the salt, lowers the melting temperature of the ice, as the ice melts faster, it creates that extra coldness, which makes our ice cream freeze a little bit quicker. Um, so we put our salt and our ice in the bags, um, and that way we can kind of get our, uh, our freezing going on here. So traditionally, when you make ice cream, we use a traditional milk base, which is heavy cream, egg, sugar, and then whatever flavoring you had to it. Um, so typically what happens is they'll go through and cook, um, or basically heat to pasteurize um, our heavy cream and eggs and kind of our ice cream base. So pasteurizing is heating it to 180 degrees to kill off the bad bacteria. So we've gone through that with the seventh grade and talk about food safety kind of along the way also. Then you gotta let it cool, and then uh, after it's cool, then you can go to freezing it. Obviously, we don't have time for that here, so we just make the quick ice cream in a bag, plus we don't have to worry about raw eggs, so uh, safety is the big concern, right? Um, so we talk about how it relates back to ag um, with our milk or cream or our dairy products coming from our dairy cattle or potentially any other female mammal that's had a baby. Um, we talk about our eggs and how they come from chickens. We've been incubating eggs, so we've talked a lot about eggs and we actually do a unit on eggs in seventh grade as well. Um, we've got our sugar, which comes from cane, which is a plant. So the kids go through and talk about the process of where's all this stuff come from. Chocolate goes back to our cocoa, which is a pod on a plant. Strawberries, duh, the kids kind of know that one. And then vanilla is vanilla bean, which also ends up coming from a plant. So really, if you think about it, all of our food in some way, shape, or form goes back to either animals or plants. And that's part of the middle school ag curriculum is figuring out how does ag actually impact all these guys and how can they potentially impact ag someday. So we get a tablespoon of sugar and put it in our bag. And then we have to kind of set it down like that because we have to make our bag balance. We put in half a tablespoon of vanilla. And then we can make flavor. And then we get half a cup of milk. Just enough. Close our bag up. Thank you. A cup of ice cream salt. Now, can you use regular salt or do you have to use ice cream salt? You can, can use you regular use salt. salt. Ice cream salt is just easier. A little bigger Thank piece, you. less cheese. Okay. Ow. Then we take two of these of ice in our bigger bag and put our smaller bag in. Make sure it's closed this time. Most of the air out. And then you start shaking it and I'll pretty much it.